Our dear partners in development, Australian Liberty High Commissioner, New Zealand High, uh, Liberty High Commissioner, including our supporting institutions, even women representative, Fiji Women's Crisis <laughs> Centre, Wilma Lillian, I pronounce it here, yeah. and Maisa, Hell, Police, Ahmad, Kipa, Safe Net members, key stakeholders, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. <coughs> It gives me great honor to speak on behalf of the AWCAC and as their patron on this exceptional occasion. <coughs> Today's gathering is an exciting and proud historical moment. It marks another milestone in the history of the KWCAC and perhaps Kiribati and its efforts to eliminate sexual and gender-based violence or domestic violence. <clears throat> Initial steps to establish this vital center dates back to 2014 and 15. Earlier this year, we celebrated accomplishing its first year of service. And since then, the center embarked on development for formal, formal transfer of KWCAC from Kiva. KWCAC, such as the coordinator alluded in his speech, was an in initiative of various institutions who had tirelessly fought against violence to women and children. The sole purpose of the center is twofold, and that is to, project, to protect and support survivors of domestic violence. Gender-based violence or domestic violence occurred in stages moving in cycles. And one good reason to why the cycle continues was the absence of sustainable protection in victims. In most cases, victims of violence fled from the violence, but very shortly, they re-enter the cycle again. The most straightforward conclusion we can draw is that Wherever these victims took shelter, they were not given the appropriate assistance and the ongoing support. Gratefully, KWCSC has bridged the gap, that gap and provided not only the shelter to victims, but counseling and empowerment so that they are protected and may be prevented to return into the un undesirable cycle. We have heard of successful and inspiring stories from the coordinator. Moreover, you would agree with me that finally, a sustainable measure to the protection of GBV or gender-based violence victims has, has taken place and have positive outcomes already. The impact of domestic violence and GBV may, in some sense, considered minimal since only a particular individual affected by one single occurrence. However, in reality, it's destructive and the damage will be massive if it could not be controlled. Most of these cases occurred privately and in homes where the victim's very foundation was ruined and we could imagine how one would feel losing a sense of home in the broader logic, the emotional and physical damages and the individual level may contribute to issues within the society such as violence and other social problems. It also has caused implications and that relates to the uncounted services received by victims at the time it was needed. This may just provocative to our thoughts, which may allow us to see the high value of KWCSC. Since 31st Jan 2018, the center has received more than 100 cases, and we would imagine how the damage would be like in the absence of KWCSC. The achievements we are celebrating today is the result of beautiful efforts 
and we should give thanks to those who have contributed. The Australian government who have committed to this project from the beginning. UN Women for providing technical support. Mosafo Kifa, who steered this initiative since 2016 till this formal exit. Other international and regional institutions who have put in their technical assistance and experiences for this entire to, to this center to success. National institutions, in particular the Ministry of Women, Youth, Sports and Social Affairs, SafeNet, and our very own people and all hands and souls that have been offered for making this day a reality. <coughs> Congratulations to you all and may the praise of our living God bless us, bless us all as we celebrate with our traditional blessings of the Maori, the Roy, or the Tavimor.